Ludwig's angina, otherwise known as angina ludovici, is a serious, potentially life-threatening cellulitis, or connective tissue infection, of the floor of the mouth, usually occurring in adults with concomitant dental infections and if left untreated, may obstruct the airways, necessitating tracheotomy. It is named after the German physician, Wilhelm Friedrich von Ludwig who first described this condition in 1836. Other names include angina malina, and morbus strangularis. Ludwig's angina should not be confused with angina pectoris, which is also otherwise commonly known as angina. The word angina comes from the Greek word ankan, meaning strangling, so in this case, Ludwig's angina refers to the feeling of strangling, not the feeling of chest pain, though there may be chest pain in Ludwig's angina if the infection spreads into the retrosternal space. The life-threatening nature of this condition generally necessitates surgical management with involvement of critical care physicians such as those found in an intensive care unit. Causes Dental infections account for approximately 80% of cases of Ludwig's angina. Mixed infections, due to both aerobes and anaerobes, are of the cellulitis associated with Ludwig's angina. Typically, these include alpha hemolytic streptococci, staphylococci, and bacteroids groups. The route of infection in most cases is from infected lower molars or from pericoronitis, which is an infection of the gum surrounding the partially erupted lower molars. Although the widespread involvement seen in Ludwig's usually develops in immunocompromised persons, it can also develop in otherwise healthy individuals. Thus, it is very important to obtain dental consultation for lower third molars at the first sign of any pain, bleeding from the gums, sensitivity to heat cold or swelling at the angle of the jaw. There has been a single case reported where Ludwig's angina was thought to be caused by a recent tongue piercing. Symptoms and signs True Ludwig's angina is a cellulitic facial infection. The signs are bilateral lower facial swelling around the lower jaw and upper neck. This is because the infection has spread to involve the submandibular, sublingual and submental spaces of the face. Swelling of the submandibular space, while externally is concerning the true danger lies in the fact that the swelling has also spread inwardly, compromising, or in effect narrowing the airway. Dysphagia, odonophagia are symptoms that are typically seen and demand immediate attention. The sublingual and submental spaces are anterior to the submandibular space. Swelling in these areas can often push the floor of the mouth, including the tongue upwards and backwards, further compromising the airway. Localization of infection to the sublingual space is accompanied by swelling of structures in the floor of the mouth as well as the tongue being pushed upwards and backwards. Spread of infection to the submaxillary spaces is usually accompanied by signs of cellulitis rather than those of an abscess. Submental and submandibular regions are swollen and tender. Additional symptoms include malaise, fever, dysphagia, odonophagia and, in severe cases, stridor or difficulty breathing. There may also be varying degrees of trismus. Swelling of the submandibular and or sublingual space is imminent. Treatment Treatment involves appropriate antibiotic medications, monitoring and protection of the airway in severe cases, and, where appropriate, urgent maxillofacial surgery and or dental consultation to incise and drain the collections. The antibiotic of choice is from the penicillin group. Incision and drainage of the abscess may be either intraoral or external. An intraoral incision and drainage procedure is indicated if the infection is localized to the sublingual space. External incision and drainage is performed if infection involves the perimandibular spaces. A nasal tracheal tube is sometimes warranted for ventilation if the tissues of the mouth make insertion of an oral airway difficult or impossible. In cases where the patency of the airway is compromised, skilled airway management is mandatory. Fiber optic intubation is common. Ludwig's angina is a life-threatening condition, and carries a fatality rate of about 5%. References